Sweet cherries, sour cherries, dried cherries, chocolate cherries, cherry soda, cherry beer, cherry salsa, cherry everything. Traverse City is nicknamed cherry capital of the world for good reason. 70% of the U.S. cherry crop comes from a five-county region here in northern Michigan. Hundreds of cherry-based goods are sold at Cherry Republic where Andrew Moore works as vice president of marketing. For decades, generations, cherries have been one of the biggest crops in northern Michigan. It's really a special and unique place for cherries to grow. Traverse City is also good for cherry growth because of its tempered climate and sandy soil. It is also on Grand Traverse Bay and in close proximity to Lake Michigan and Lake Leelanau. Cherries are the heart and soul of Traverse City, being the identity of it and its people. But farmers and agriculture experts say that cherry crop is at risk of being destroyed by this crop's new worst opponent, climate change. We had two crop losses within a decade, and so that's very concerning for us. So climate change is about frost freeze events, but then the other thing it's about is just the unpredictability of weather. So we have hail events that are probably becoming more common than usual. We have an increase of diseases because we're getting warmer and wetter. We'll protect that land. Dr. Nikki Rothwell, coordinator at Northwest Michigan Horticultural Research Center, works with local researchers and farmers to solve climate issues. And one of the biggest climate problems farmers and researchers are working on now are flash freezes. These are when the warm weather suddenly drops below 32 degrees Fahrenheit and starts to freeze, killing the cherry blossoms. Coming from a long history of cherry farmers, Myron Anderson has seen firsthand the devastating changes that flash freezes cause. And then we'll get some a cold spell, which can actually freeze the flower uh, buds. 2012 was the worst recorded year for Michigan fruit. Over 90% of the tart cherry crop was lost due to freezing weather right after a warm early spring. During years like that, the people at Cherry Republic have to import cherries to meet their customer demands. There's a lot of challenges on the you know horizon with climate, and because we can't pinpoint when it's going to change or how it's going to change or when it's going to change from month to month, day to day, year to year, I feel like that's a little bit of the struggle. Another big climate problem is extreme weather events like hailstorms, floods, and droughts. Cherry trees need to be watered every seven to ten days and need enough water to cover all the roots. But Michigan can become dry for a long period of time. Farmers have had to install costly irrigation systems. Another problem, extreme rain events. But with too much rain, trees can become infested with fungus and bacteria. In May of 2020, Traverse City had roads flooded and people trapped in their cars due to extreme rain. The rain event caused significant damage to the cherry crop and ruined most of it for the year. These extreme weather patterns are becoming more frequent as they are caused in part by a warming Lake Michigan. The National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration says the lake is warming about 0.11 degrees Fahrenheit each decade, which is a significant increase since 1901. This warming causes more evaporation in the lake and more water particles from it in the air. More water particles means more storm clouds and extreme storms. Given the challenges of the climate and the cost of failed crops, farmer Myron Anderson is considering the difficult choice of leaving the farming business altogether. As you can tell, it would be really hard because uh, that's one of the reasons I got the farm from Grandpa, because he knew that I would be the grandson that wouldn't not farm. So you have to think about things like that. And As the problems that small cherry farmers face grow, the unthinkable becomes more and more of a possibility. Maybe one day Traverse City will no longer be the cherry capital anymore. I don't think we're ever going to stop farming cherries for sure, but one of the things I do see is we aren't farming maybe smaller farms anymore. Maybe this farming is becoming more centralized, um, bigger farms. So that maybe the farm family, there won't be as many, which is also concerning. With the effects of climate change on the rise, things aren't predicted to get better. But farmers and researchers will continue to adjust and fight climate change so the people of Traverse City can continue to call it the cherry capital of the world.